Well, as promised, I am here with my Sephora Spring Savings Event Haul Update video. Sephora Try On. I tried like hundreds of items that I bought from the sale. And believe me when I say I bought a lot. I did a massive, epic, insane Sephora haul. I had to split it into two parts. Part one and part two, if you miss those, catch them. I will link them down in the description box. Now, I have tried basically all of the items. I can't think of one I didn't try. I've tried everything, and now I wanna give you guys updates on the products that I tried on. Letting you know, were they good? Were they worth the money? All of that information I'm going to share with you guys. Hey beauties, welcome back to another fabulous beauty video on my Clio Lux Life channel. I of course have another channel, Salon Clio. I will link it down in the description box. That is mainly my fragrance channel. I upload some beauty content on that channel as well, but it's mainly a fragrance channel. As you can see, I have uh, 600 fragrances behind me, but my passion is all beauty. So I decided to split up my makeup and other beauty content under this channel so this one is fairly new which is why it's still growing so please show your support subscribe down there that button and ring the notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos in this video i'm going to give you updates on all the products that i bought from the sephora sale i've tried everything now i've had a couple of weeks to try everything so you guys i'm also going to be giving you guys demos of these products like especially the makeup products in natural daylight so you can see what they really look like without any studio lighting natural daylight that's how i do stuff i like to show you guys how they apply in natural daylight i will be giving updates on some items that are actual collections like tom ford soleil collection or the natasha denona palettes or the um, you know like specific like collections that I bought will be split into other mini videos which will be also mini updates but majority of the products will be covered in this overall video overall try on updates video there will be some items that are left to be shown and shared my experience with in other mini updates videos that are gonna follow this video okay let me start with the body care hair care type of products get them out of the way so let me first tell you about this Sol de Janeiro sunscreens you guys oh my gosh these are as good as I thought they were going to be they smell amazing they pretty much smell like the Rio Radiance you know the Cheriosa like the Rio Radiance scent the body mist and the body cream there's a body cream as well the real radiance body cream that's what these smell like essentially what they smell like is like very solar type of like notes you find in here meaning like white florals that yellow florist type of notes that smell very tropical very beachy um has a like a little bit of like that ocean vibe in it too right so that's what these smell like and they smell exactly like the real radiance body cream and the the perfume mist so they smell super fabulous by the way like when you're wearing these you don't need to wear a, a scent so this is pretty much your scent you don't even have to wear your actual real radiance body mist because they smell pretty darn good and guys i'm going to be smelling like a sun-kissed goddess on the beach this summer well not just beach just running around everywhere wearing these sunscreens because they smell amazing and they are spf 50 so which is the highest you can go anything above 50 is the same as 50 basically and 50 is the highest protection you can get they are so good i i've been wearing these I, a, a several days now and they do the job which is keeping your skin from getting burned and you know aging and all that stuff like i can tell i mean usually i can tell if a sunscreen is working 
by how much darker my skin went get a, a couple of shades darker that means the sunscreen wasn't doing its job and if you're fair skinned if you are burned and you have red patches here and there that will show you that the sunscreen isn't working but these didn't do that these are amazing I love the fact that these three options are available because you want to get a cream on which is this one all over your body let's say before you go to the beach or whatever the 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 day that you're gonna spend out like your day out right you want the cream on because that's what's gonna stick to your body and stay there and then you take this the spray on one to kind of renew every hour or so which is what you're supposed to do which is also SPF 50 by the way and this one is the the oil that glistens make your skin glisten and it's SPF 50 as well and this is so hard to come by you guys all those like shimmering body oils like Tom Ford ones and all these like Patrick, Patrick Ta and all these shimmering body oils that's kind of counterproductive because if you want to wear those when you're out in the sun right but if you're wearing your sunscreen and you put those oils on which don't have SPF you're basically undoing your sunscreen so I don't use them to be out in the sun I use that type of oils indoors where there's no sun exposure whereas I've been wanting a sun or like a shimmering oil that has sunscreen now Kopari has one which I that's the one I've had but you know this gives me a beautifully smelling gorgeous option this listens so well it doesn't have like like very obvious like glitter particles but like it has you know glowy sh like a I think there's a shimmer in it but it just glows but I will tell you though you don't even need this because this right here makes your skin glow actually the spray on sunscreen so yes absolutely approve these for sure and of course I'm not gonna stay here very long I don't even need to give you an update on it because I've been using this for years this is the creamiest lathering gorgeous body wash ever it does say Brazilian foreplay cream gel it's actually very creamy it smells like cupcakes um, coconut and sunscreen you know it's absolutely oh, divine my husband loves it too everybody loves it, you guys there's nothing to say about that and then of course delicious drench I got a backup of this from the Sephora sale this is the most delicious smelling body butter that ever existed this one is a little thicker uh, in consistency than the other um, Sol de Janeiro body creams I've noticed oh my gosh this is kind of like whipped a little bit oh this really moisturizes your body I mean it really is meant meant for moisturizing your body do you see that it's like I just threw a bucket of water on my hand there oh my gosh it's super moisturizing like a bucket of water on you and not to mention smells heavenly sweet and gorgeous I know that this has like passion flower or something and there's definitely loads of vanilla it smells absolutely heavenly oh my gosh and you guys I already shared with you that Bachimi by Bagari that scent goes so well with that together layered oh and then you guys this right here the Tatcha makeup balm like makeup remover balm as you can see I've of course used it this is actually really really good it's very very good does it beat the LMS um I don't think so they are different this one is a little bit more uh, lighter not as thick it's, it has a more of a lighter feel to it you know in the way it is emollient but it takes off all the makeup gets the job done it really 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 works really really well these two money mask I don't need to give you an update here because I've already talked about this many times on my channel if you have really dry tangled hair and you put this money mask on your hair it just whew, like you put it in your hair and you stand in water and it just will untangle and just flow in place it just there's nothing that untangles and smooths your hair like this money mask um, it's just like it's so smoothing and so shiny oh, I just absolutely love it can't live without it it looks like, like almost like water like frozen water the color of it is just really nice too has a nice scent 
um, kind of aqua kind of scent. And then this Mani Mist that I got. So this one, you guys, I can't quite like update you like for sure, but I have been using it. It seems to be very hydrating, kind of like a follow up to this that's really good. This is a leave-in conditioner. This is the Mani Mist, same brand. I really feel like, yes, it does really keep my hair moisturized and silky and slick and it makes my hair really soft that's what i actually noticed the most with this one really 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 like the texture of the hair will get really smooth and then you guys this right here this is the kerastase defense thermique heat protectant from kerastase that i bought I don't know you guys, this, uh, one thing I don't like about it, like after these two really made my hair silky and soft and I spray this on to like blow dry my hair, this gives it too much texture, it makes it rough, like, like the, you know, I just blow dried my hair with this, using this and it makes it very like almost kind of coarse and like it takes away that silky texture. So I'm not a huge fan of this. This may be getting the job done in terms of protecting my hair from the heat, but I don't like what it does to the texture of my hair. It makes it look very kind of rough and like, not rough, like very like coarse and kind of dry looking. So I feel like these two did such a good job like making my hair silky and soft and then I go in with this and it just reverses that beautiful texture. So then this Necessaire Rosemary Shampoo. Oh my gosh, like this whole rosemary thing is going viral on social media, you guys. Um, rosemary is supposed to be really good for stimulating your hair follicles, hair growth, prevent hair loss. And I will say I agree. Before I started using rosemary shampoo and rosemary oil in my hair, I was losing like handfuls of hair like in the shower. Where I live, we have very hard water. We have a water softener, but I feel like it still doesn't do enough. And I was kind of, every time I showered, I was like, you know, pulling out like a handful of hair and it was really starting to worry me. And then I started washing my hair with this, not this one, but the Avida. Avida brand has a rosemary shampoo too. I started wa washing my hair with that and that really started helping. I noticed like I stopped, you know, losing so much hair. And then um, I started using rosemary oil as well. And then when I started using this one by this brand, it like completely stopped my like shedding of hair in the shower. So yeah, so not so much hair in the drain like ever since I started using this and it's very kind of, you can tell it stimulates the, the scalp because there's a, I wouldn't say tingly feeling, but it has a very clean sort of feel. I love the way my hair feels when I use this to wash my hair. I think I found my shampoo, you guys. Like I'm very picky and fussy about shampoos, you know. Um, I've tried so many brands. I even was using Brio Geo for a long time, which is good, but I kind of outgrew that brand. Then I moved on to Olaplex, which I still do love, like the Bond Builder number three, I still love. But you know, I, I feel like I outgrew all those brands and I feel like that's my thing. This is, this is my thing, the rosemary stuff, okay? Highly recommend the Necessaire Rosemary Shampoo. And then this baby right here. So this is by the brand Honey. This is like a water bomb, they call it. So it's, it's very, very like thin and airy and light in, in texture. So let me show you. So this is something you're supposed to like spray on to your skin when you get out of the shower. You see that? It's like a bucket of water on your um, body, you guys, but it just dissipates right away. If you're one of those people who really don't like the like textures you know you it triggers you like all you want is a little light moisture you know you have pretty healthy skin already not too dry you just want something light on you know very light on your skin this is the thing for you did you see how much of a difference it made see this arm versus this arm so it gives you like the lightest and it absorbs into the skin right away so it leaves no kind of like 
feeling at all like there's no oil no no wetness or nothing it just keeps your skin kind of moisturized without the feeling of a moisturizer on your skin if you know what i'm talking about and if that's your thing you would love this so this almost i feel like would really like layer well with my hibiscus majad fragrance you guys so that's what i'm gonna use it with in the middle of hot summer and you just don't want to put a cream on no matter how light the cream is that's the thing for you get out of the shower spray that on you'll be hydrated and then like your skin will drink it but you will feel nothing on your skin like there'll be nothing left you know it just will be very soft okay so then i have this this is the innisfree a volcanic pure clay mask i love this brand i actually went through like a whole tub before i bought this from the sephora sale this is a volcanic mud mask uh, which i love to do when i'm in in a bath i really like these um really what it does is pull the dirt out of your skin like deep cleanse kind of your pores i have nothing much more to say about it it works now we're going to move on to makeup okay so i want to give you an update on this right here i'll start with the complexion products this is you guys the dior forever glow star filter oh my god this is one of my new ride or die products i have come to love this so much that i will never live without this and i hope to goodness that this never ever gets discontinued you know how dr likes to discontinue stuff and reintroduce and yada yada please leave it alone dr don't touch this product this is perfect as it is this is supposed to be like similar to the charlotte tilbury's like flawless filter or whatever that hollywood fil hollywood glow filter whatever that is uh, but I gotta tell you, I love this way, 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 way more than Charlotte's one, okay? This one is so freaking beautiful and lightweight, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so lightweight, so lightweight. Um, watch this. This gives you, like, the be most beautiful, beautiful filter. It makes your skin look so healthy like if you are somebody who doesn't wear makeup right but you just want to look like you have the healthiest plump glowy skin just wear this use your fingers natural daylight application of this product i tried applying it with a sponge a brush and then with finger i will have to tell you that the fingers that is the best way to apply this product oh my gosh it like right after you do your skincare apply this product it leaves your skin looking like you're in your teen years okay it's very plumpy glowy so perfecting absolutely stunning product where was this all my life i now want backups of this i will never live without it i'm gonna use this like almost every day highly recommend it okay so i'm looking for more complexion products okay right here this say concealer beautiful thumbs up on this one that's the concealer i'm wearing on my face today um i will put a application clip right here this is very nice very creamy but very thin it's not it doesn't settle into fine lines it doesn't crease it doesn't look cakey all of those things that we love in a concealer absolutely beautiful as you can see it has a slight glow um, in natural daylight you can set this with a powder you don't have to but i always always do uh, it's not self-setting but it can you can pull it off without putting a powder on it but i always always do this is a beautiful concealer but did it knock the natasha denona concealer out of its spot not really it did not so it's good but not not as good i mean it's almost there like right there but to me, Natasha Denona Concealer is still the number one. Then I have the Hourglass Concealer here. Uh, I wasn't wowed by this concealer, guys. I know that people like love this concealer. And it's yeah, thin and looks pretty nice like on the back of my hand. But it got a little patchy 
on my, under my eyes and I feel like it's a little too thick and too sticky like yeah it just feels like a big like a very thick paste yeah that it's hard to describe it's it's thin when it when you first apply the liquid but once you apply it I feel like it like do you see what I mean it it's a little pasty you guys like yeah sure this shade is a little lighter than what I wanted but that's not what it is there's something kind of grabby about it like it like hangs on to or grabs on to like rough spots I feel like it's the application isn't as smooth it doesn't look as smooth and like perfected as for example the Natasha Denona ones or the Say one for example no I, I really I wasn't a fan you guys don't like it okay then I have the Denisa Marek's yummy skin I've talked about this million times I don't need to be hanging around here um, this is a very beautiful this is a skin tint but it's way more than that it gives you great coverage this is you know very famous everybody loves this I love this this is like a great one for example for like summertime when you want just like light coverage in the hot sun you know do you see that that like gives you really beautiful kind of a veil of coverage without it being too cakey uh, the beautiful thin moisturizing kind of feel of this is what is really 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 nice it's very smooth it's kind of hydrating it kind of like smooths and kind of corrects I feel like the skin I believe there's some something is it niacinamide or something in here there's some kind of skin ingredient in here as well so yeah absolutely love it it's a perfect summertime foundation in my opinion uh, when you don't want to wear too much of cakey foundations okay so the next is this the Prada foundation but I'm not gonna give you an update on this in this video because I'm going to do it's one of those products that I'm going to do a separate video reviewing just the Prada makeup I'm of course going to do the Prada eye quads and all of the Prada lipsticks the hyper mattes that I bought and actually you guys after I did both my hauls of course as usual I went and placed two other mini orders one of the uh, ones that I ordered um, placed in that order were the the this is the hyper matte but the soft matte ones so the Prada soft matte ones are coming on the way so I'm gonna put all of this in one video where I review all the new Prada makeup I will review the hyper matte formula of the lipsticks the soft matte formula of the lipsticks the, the foundation the eye quads all that good stuff so that's gonna be one of those mini review videos coming up after this video and then for more complexion products I have these right here these are the mini sizes of the Givenchy Prism Libre powder uh, in rose I believe uh, or something rose um, and then this is the Huda Beauty in cherry blossom in the mini size you guys already know I've talked about the Huda Beauty powder a million times it's so good for under the eyes even if you have dark skin like me you guys I mean you would think like the pink powders only would be okay for fair skin no 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 it works under even dark skin people's under eyes perfect powder in my opinion in cherry blossom to set the under eyes it works for me for my medium tan skin I have seen people with darker complexion than me trying this under the eyes and working on TikTok uh, but I can of course personally guarantee that right but I can speak for my skin tone or lighter skin tones I think it would work you know it's beautiful powder this one um, I don't have an application clip on that one because I have already featured that in many videos the the bigger size of it all right and then here's the Givenchy Prism Libre powder in the rose color so it is I got the mini version so I can bring these on um, my trips when I'm traveling because I have like the big size already this is also really beautiful for under the eyes or as a finishing or setting powder all over the face it's uh, triple milled very very silky so fine such a silky smooth uh, formula really feels like silkier than silk if you can imagine okay so that's what I uh, set my face with today in this video and of course the this super good protect 
protectant SPF 50 tint I've been seeing rave reviews on this one but this will be also one of those products that will be reviewed in another mini video because I'm gonna do a um, no makeup makeup look for hot summer days using this so in that I will give you an update on that one so then I have this right here you guys the makeup forever face palette this you guys is awesome 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 and I am pretty glad that I got the light so this comes in two shades so this is the light face palette and then there's a dark palette so I kind of was like not sure if I should get the dark or the light but I'm really really glad I got the light one because if you are my skin tone or lighter you should get this one not the dark one I feel like because these two shades down here they are perfect as this as contour and this as bronzer for my skin complexion and these work as foundation if you want them to be and that works like a like highlight not like a highlighter shiny highlighter but to like contour and highlight for the highlight portion of it um, and this is also even lighter you can use for like highlighting your face and then on this side you get these two highlights in the top and these are blush colors these four you guys oh my god this is such a good buy you guys this is perfect for traveling this will like take care of all your needs if you don't want to pack a lot of makeup and you're just like doing like a weekend getaway and you want like contour highlight all that stuff and blush and highlighter in one palette for like summertime especially when you don't want to be wearing a lot of powder products right here you guys right here this will accomplish all of it and here is the application clip of me applying the contour and the bronzer I mixed them together I kind of did a bronzer thing uh, for this video to show you guys how this applies it really blends so 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 well it's quite nice and emollient but not too emollient it just stays put it doesn't you know transfer it doesn't travel all over the face it just you know it's so easy to blend and then the blushes oh my gosh so healthy kind of gives you like a healthy skin look absolutely stunning I am so happy I got it and I also use the highlighter shades and they work really well almost remind me of like similar to the Tom Ford cream highlighters that you get in those duos which I will be talking about here in a second the are so good I might actually grab the dark one too maybe from the next Sephora sale but I think more than the dark one that light to medium palette works really well on my skin tone anyway beautiful that's not what I'm wearing today what I'm wearing today is right here the Tom Ford shade and illuminate what are these called um, shade and illuminate contour duo okay so duo contour so this one you guys is in the shade number intensity 2 so usually for my complexion what works is intensity number one which is what I have and in the intensity number one you get this like highlighter that doesn't have any color now see this highlighter has a color but the intensity one has almost like a white highlighter and it is almost like a colorless but like it gives you like this beautiful gleam like natural beautiful glow so glistening in the sun but it's not very pigmented translucent whereas I bought this one intensity 2 because this highlighter has color so I really really wanted to use this highlighter which is by the way I'm wearing on my cheeks today if you can't tell do you see how beautiful that is just so pretty you guys if you were like especially have let's say mature skin and you don't want like powder highlights or you have texture on your skin you don't want um, you know emphasize this is the highlight for you and this is perfect for summertime that dewy kind of look without anything looking cakey absolutely beautiful and this contour is actually quite dark for my skin complexion um, as you can see it's really really dark like number one is actually the right color for me this this is really dark but um, as you can see here uh, it blends so well into almost like color that blends with my complexion 
and as you can see in these demo clips it's very nice and emollient it actually blends so easily with the skin um, this formula is tried, tried and true I've talked about it before on my channel the intensity one that I already have I just wanted to get that highlighter mainly with that little bit of color you know to it and I feel like it looks really beautiful you see this you know in the application clip you saw just how gleaming it is and but a healthy kind of gleam that looks almost like natural you know like that you're not wearing anything and then I have these Danessa Myricks yummy skin balm blushes um, that is this color is what I'm wearing on my skin today this is called Jubilee and this is it girl I love it girl it's actually really beautiful I wanted the Barbie doll cream blush and this is the one for you guys and you know use a light hand this actually blends so well into your skin even dark complexions like mine tan complexions absolutely stunning as you can see um, in this video I'm wearing this it girl color it blends so well I really really love it and Jubilee is what I'm wearing you can see in the demo clip really more of a apricot kind of um, undertones to this blush I really love it it's good for summertime that one and then you guys you have this the Gucci beautiful Gucci blush right here this is number seven this is that Barbie doll um, shade right here I gotta say I hate how hard it is to open this container but look at like how like old Hollywood like this is it's beautiful packaging Gucci has the best packaging do you know do you see how light this looks like on camera but on my skin you guys it works really well even on my tan skin it almost like adjusts to my pH but I don't think there's a pH adjuster thing in here like the Dior backstage ones are no but I think it really still works kind of adjusts to my skin tone beautifully silky gorgeous 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 blush gives the most beautiful kind of baby doll look to my cheeks it comes in other colors next Sephora sale I'm gonna grab a couple of other colors they're very expensive so that's why I just bought one okay you guys I will be reviewing I'll be doing uh, a separate video just to review the the rare beauty blushes so I'll do that in a separate video these are so good spoiler alert I'll either do like a, a short YouTube short or a video a separate video on the, the rare beauty blushes okay and then uh, these milk makeup blushes these are like the tints that are made for like no no makeup makeup type of like hot summer day looks right to make it look like you're not even wearing blush but you are like naturally flushing these are good too spoiler alert but these will be in that video with this tint for like that no makeup makeup look for a hot summer day so stay tuned for that okay you guys this Dior forever glow maximizer highlighters these are technically highlighters but I got this in the shade is it rose oh my gosh this is the color I wanted you guys because I wanted to use this as a glowy blush which I was hoping would work out so well for me and it does it is so beautiful you guys it's absolutely stunning on the skin and it is not too highlighty if you if that makes sense to you it doesn't look like a highlighter which is what I was hoping it would be that it would be kind of slightly sheen ha would have a slight sheen and not glittery or or highlighter like and that's what it is it has a beautiful glow sheen but not like glittery glitzy look at all so it works as a blush if you want to get this shade absolutely stunning you can work use it as a blush topper or an actual blush which I will be using it as a glowy blush in the summertime because how cooling and almost gel like this formula is it's so good for the summertime you guys absolutely stunning and look at how good it looks even on the back of my hand there absolutely stunning I want to tell you guys that I will be reviewing the Tom Ford Soleil collection in a separate video coming up next actually the next video will be this collection so yeah it's coming up I'm not gonna cover these in this video because I'm going to cover them in their own video coming up here soon but the short answer is 
amazing amazing okay then i have eyeshadow palettes on a cover these two tom ford eye quads the new creme formula two quads that tom ford released one is 46 amber bronze and this one um is so stunning i will tell you one thing about this this is absolutely gorgeous the tom ford creme formula like it it's other formulas i love all of tom ford eyeshadow formulas but this new creme formula is to die for you guys especially if you are someone who has like crepey eyelids which i don't i don't at all but i imagine how good it would be on like people with texture on their eyelids right bumps or crepey or you have mature eyelids and they're kind of creasy you know what i mean this is the formula for you this is your friend this is so beautiful do you see the like the love it's re received already oh my goodness by the way this shadow right there that particular one be careful with it it tends to break like you probably don't want to travel with this particular i caught quad because you guys this red one is very very sensitive very very kind of uh, prone to breaking let me show you though oh my god just how creamy and beautiful these shadows are my goodness i am showing you here in a second an application clip just let me swatch this for you first you will see in the application clip just how stunning this is and it actually is so user friendly because you can get a very quick eye look with this with that beautiful red shade all over your eyelid you guys you have to use the red shade all over your eyelids or don't use it at all you know one of my biggest pet peeves you guys is, is actually the reason why i started my own makeup channel because i was getting so frustrated watching these so-called beauty youtubers that buy a palette like this that is absolutely stunning with a shade like that and they go to do this super conservative super like minimalistic let me just prick the brown shades and do like a little like a little wing eyeliner with it and just like put it a little in the crease and call it a day guys tom ford didn't make an eye quad with a shade like this to die for for it to not be used okay why do you even wear makeup why do you have a beauty channel if you don't want to actually try these shades on your eyelids and wear makeup like why do you have a channel you know what i mean like if you're not a makeup lover why do you why do you have a makeup channel that that's why i got really frustrated honestly after mel thompson that beautiful mel passed away honestly it's really hard to find a proper reviewer who would actually try the makeup on now she was a true makeup lover and she was a true artist and i miss her i can never be a replacement for her but you know i could i could try to come somewhere near that i i would hope to i did a video with this eye quad on my eyes i got a ton of compliments from you guys i got compliments that day when i went out so yeah do you see that that's what i'm wearing it's absolutely stunning you guys and don't be afraid to wear a bold lip sometimes with a bold eye look it actually works believe it or not you know how the usually you are advised to if you, to wear like a nude lip if you're wearing a bold eye look sure that works in certain cases but sometimes you guys like in that video i'm wearing that eye quad on my eyelids and like bold lips which i will talk about which lipstick i am wearing in that video with that amber bronze palette worked out so beautiful very much like a vixen you know and then speaking of tom ford here's the other creme formula that they released just the most two recent palettes these are the two most recent palettes and of course i bought both of them let me swatch in this shade right here you guys i'm actually wearing it um in a video or i was wearing it in a video again i got compliments and asked what i was wearing in that video let me swatch the rest of this palette on my hands too you guys can see just how beautiful it is i mean look at that look at that look at that i mean this cream uh creme sh uh, shimmer shades are the best you guys they are to die for they are to die for gotta tell you i really hate doing arm swatches they never do justice to a palette you need to see them on the eyes you guys here's the demo clip for this um eye quad it's absolutely stunning that beautiful taupey silver right there all over the eyelid is so 
beautiful, absolutely stunning. I love these two new creme quads. Of course, uh, the Ember Bronze, the red one, the quad, uh, red, red brown quad, I did a halo eye with it, and this one I did a uh, winged out, uh, regular, you know, usual uh, outer corner, darkened, you know, regular look with the, the beautiful shimmer shade all over the eyelid. You see in this video, I'm wearing it. It's absolutely fantastic. Both of these quads are great for going out, you guys, nighttime uh, type of eye looks. Mwah, to die for. Love the care creme formula. And then of course you guys I wanted to tell you this right here the Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette will have its own video coming up here soon with the other Natasha Denona products that I bought which are basically the Natasha Denona um, lip liners and the liquid eyeliner and all that. So those will be reviewed in its own video coming up soon, so stay tuned. So while we're doing uh, eyes, let me get all the eye stuff out of the way. This YSL mascara, the Lash Clash mascara, do you see the wand? It's a nice, thick, fluffy wand. When you see a wand like this, you know it's gonna work. I love the formula because it's not dry and not too wet. So that's like the ideal thick formula right there, you guys. It's not wet and runny, it's not dry. It's like that thick formula that really grabs onto your eyelashes. That's what I'm wearing in this video. Do you see how it looks like I'm wearing false lashes? Yeah, it's this mascara, you guys. It volumizes like there's no tomorrow and lengthens a little bit too. So yeah, I love it. If you're not a fan of like the, it's not clumpy, but like the thick lash look, then don't get it. If you want like, you know, very individual lash separated look, then it's not the one for you. Try Tower 28 if that's what you like, but that's what I like for my eyelashes. This is the look I like. And then I tried this Grande Lash um, Mascara. Uh, this is supposed to help like grow your eyelashes or whatever. Somebody let me know down in the comment section that Grande Lashes or Grande brand got sued something about getting sued, but I'm, and I'm, and then that person was warning me and thank you so much for telling me that. But I do know that if there is a lawsuit and this is not safe, it will not be on the market anymore. So if they did get sued, they must have removed whatever the ingredient they were getting sued for. So I'm not too worried about it, you guys. I know that this has a lot of good reviews, like the brand in general, especially their lash serum and the eyebrow serum. In terms of how this performs as a mascara, this is good, this is my verdict. It is good um, as like an everyday mascara, like let's say like a mascara to wear if you're like running around town or you know, you're not going to something that you want to dress to impress. You just, you're just running around like every day. That type of mascara, you know, why not get something good done for your lashes too at the same time, but this isn't the mascara that's gonna give you this type of eyelashes where you look like camera already, okay? So it's not the one. In terms of did it help my eyelashes grow? I don't know you guys. I can't give you an update on that particular thing until I wear this for like three months, which down the road at some point, I'm probably gonna tell you about it, you know? So just keep watching my channel, you guys. Subscribe and ring the notification bell and you know, just that way you never miss any of those things. Okay, these two. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Eyeliners. Um, they're, they're okay, I mean, they're good. Okay, don't get me wrong, it's actually one of the better eyeliners I have ever, liquid eyeliners I've ever seen. It's actually really good, the black one is really black. It does work, I do like the black one quite a lot, but did it beat the Natasha Denona one right here? No, the microblade? Not really, not really. It hasn't replaced it. So yeah, this does really work. You will see in this application tip where it really works. It has a um, actual brush applicator. I don't like the felt applicators because you guys, they, they kind of uh, grab the skin, they tug, they, they don't do a very nice uh, smooth eyeliner at all, ever. Um, and you know, I don't know why people think it's beginner friendly, it's not. You know, just get, used to doing your eyeliner with a brush tip, you guys, I'm telling you. 
Now, I like the black one and I'm going to keep the black one. And well, now I'm going to keep this one too because I don't feel like returning it because I did use it. Although we are allowed to return after trying products on and I do know it, but I just don't feel like doing that. I wish I hadn't bought this one. This is the brown version of it. This one, you guys, is not... Do you see that? Do you see that? You know, did you see how the black one really left a good, like, thick, like, non-streaky line? Did you see what happened with the brown one there? This one, I don't know if I got a faulty one or what happened. I mean, this one, now when I put a little pressure on, it came a little better. It may be that it needs to be stored like head down sometimes with li uh, liquid liners you have to store them head down so they the, the ink start flowing I didn't it didn't wow me you guys like it didn't wow me uh, and it's not like I don't know I have brown eyes and it, it didn't look the best on me maybe on fair skin it'll work better but it, you know I wasn't like blown away but I'm gonna keep it because it, it's nice to kind of have a brown liner on hand for whatever reason if I have an outfit someday that you know it works really well with um, I prefer the black one over the brown one and then the Dior uh, this right here the eyeliners by Dior this is called Dior show um, on stage crayon these are fabulous I love the nude one that I have and I now got the beautiful cobalt kind of periwinkle actually periwinkle almost electric blue uh, this time it's so stunning it's such a stunning shade of blue it's such a st stunning shade of blue that really complement brown eyes it's really make your brown eyes pop these eyeliners you guys one one thing I will say they stay on the waterline forever like I mean they stay put but you have to make sure like if you were crying for some reason or your eyes were watering and you try to put this on it's not gonna grab onto the waterline you have to have dry eyes like dry water line and then you put this on it's gonna stay for good actually the other day i couldn't find my nude one version of this and i had to wear like the victoria beckham or was it mario makeup by mario uh nude one Ugh, it wasn't even going on you guys and it didn't stay on you couldn't even tell i was wearing a nude liner and i really missed it and i found it this is like my replacement for the milk makeup nude liner and the nude one got discontinued so the the nude version of this is my replacement for that nude one i love the milk makeup and this um for eyeliner such a good formula i do like pat mcgrath too but i don't think she has a nude color of the eyeliner yes this is my tried and true precisely my brow by benefits it has the most fine little pencil um, so it makes like the hairline kind of strokes so easily and the other side is a spoolie this is one of my favorite eyebrow products to ever ever exist i can't live without it you guys know it's a tried and true product and then i have to talk to you about this right here oh my gosh this is the valentino eyebrow pencil you guys this is a perfect product you guys i finally have my thing by the way, when I haul this in my Sephora haul, I only saw these two ends. I thought, oh my god, it has a spoolie and it has that little pen tip to make those little fine hair-like hair line strokes. But oh my gosh, there's no there's no pencil. That's kind of silly. Why did why was it so highly rated? I mean, I should have had a brain, you guys. If it was this big and this thick, it must have had something underneath. One of you guys said, several of you actually told me. It also has a pencil. I was complaining, oh my gosh, it doesn't have a pencil. If it had a pencil, it would be the perfect eyebrow product. And it is. It does have a, a pencil. So this is the perfect product, especially if you're traveling and you really want, you know, a product that has all three in one, this is the option for you. This works so well. You can see here in the application clip, it's absolutely perfect. I am so glad that this actually exists now that I can use this to travel with and even every day. Um, so what you can do is you basically, you use the pulley to brush your eyebrows and then you use the pencil to do like from here, from the middle of the eyebrow to the end of the eyebrow. And then you can use the brush tip right here 
to make those little hairline strokes at the beginning of the brow, which is perfect. That's exactly you want, all three in one. It's perfect. No wonder this is highly, highly rated. The one small wish I have, small thing that I wish it had, was that this is nice and flat. I do like how it's pinched, but I wish it was even more fine, kind of like the benefit one right here, like even more fine like this. That's like my only wish, but it's it's me being nitpicky, you guys. It's actually really nice, and it's you know perfectly pinched, which is perfectly good enough. Okay, so I have the lipstick lip product galore here okay let me start with the sephora uh, lip pencils these are good these are really creamy glide on really nicely like as you can see i got this kind of mauve color then i got this nude one you will see this nude one in action in this application cl clip they're very creamy glide right on but um and they're right up there in the list but my favorite Lip liners are from Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath makes good ones too, you guys. Uh, Makeup Forever has good lip liners as well. This is creamy, but it sometimes tend to let the lipsticks that bleed kind of go outside. Whereas the Natasha Denona ones, for example, they keep the lipstick inside, you know. Again, I'm being nitpicky, but these are really, really good lip prod, uh, liners especially at 30% off uh, like I said I will review the Natasha Denona ones in that other Natasha Denona video okay guys I'll be reviewing the uh, Vestman Atelier new matte lipsticks in its own video separately so stay tuned for that they are gonna be reviewed in a separate dedicated video or I would do like a YouTube short it's coming up I'm not gonna touch base on that in this video but what's the short verdict absolutely good and then of course like I said the Prada lipsticks would be reviewed in that Prada video with the Prada foundation and the eye quad also YSL new uh, the, the the candy gloss formula and the new love shine lipsticks I'm going to do a video on swatching all of them everything I already own and the ones I got from the Sephora sale coming up you guys so in that one i will give you an update on these so stay tuned for that these right here the Mar tarte maracuja lip vinyls oh my gosh these are what what gives that sort of glass like look to the lips you know like the new trend with the glass lips you guys the one thing i wish was that it wasn't a push-up rather a twist like the the hourglass ones i'm about to talk about these are so they look like like plastic on your lips like so high shine you will see in this daylight application uh, clips here just how stunning they look on the lips you guys in a second here you will see the daylight application clips just let me swatch these for you um, I am actually I already swatched this in my Sephora um, haul video but these are absolutely beautiful all three of these colors I believe I I have natural daylight application clips um, for you to see these are so juicy make your lips look almost like vinyl no wonder it's called vinyl because they look definitely look like lip vinyls like plastic on the lips and glass or glass on the lips absolutely beautiful and then another one that looks like that the Tarte ones are these hourglass lipsticks and see now hourglass one is twist up which I like over that that click up thing i don't like the clicking up you guys okay i mean these are high shine too but i would say they're more like oily high shine or oil like high shine than plastic like high shine that's why those are called vinyls right but i do love these so much as well of course i will list and link all these products down in the description box obviously um then you guys i have these right here the merit matte lipsticks oh my gosh these are so good it's such a comfortable comfortable formula you guys i got the two best shades in my opinion that they have in their range this is their signature matte lipsticks i talk about this brand a lot uh, to you guys all the time um I've, I've reviewed their blushes i've reviewed their lip gloss i've reviewed their uh, beautiful serum that goes on the face before makeup do you see that one is called equestrian and the other one is called it has a weird name I can't remember now but 
these are so beautiful do you see these application daylight application clips right here they go on so smooth and nice and they're not even a little bit drying. They don't even feel like drying matte lipstick at all on the lips. They kind of have a velvety feel to them, you guys. Absolutely stunning. These two are actually the colors that I love the most from all the lipstick uh, shades they have. And then, guess who came out with all these beautiful lipsticks? Charlotte Tilbury. So she came out with new shades in her Kissing Lip Formula and the Matte Revolution lipsticks. So I have two Matte Revolution and two Kissing lipsticks here. So let me show you the Kissing Formula first. These are the most stunning. This shade right here, it's, a, it's called Crimson something. This right here, you will see here in the Daylight Application Clip, but let me show you the swatch. This is such a beautiful crimson color, you guys. It makes you look like when you put it on, you see here in the application clip, it gives you that this absolute baddie, black widow, um, vixen look. Total sex goddess look, okay? Absolutely stunning. And then here is, so that's the crimson something. I can't remember the name. This one is the 90s pink. Let me swatch it next to it. And here, here in a minute, I will show you the application clip of it. Absolutely beautiful. It, they have this sort of like beautiful shine to them that make your lips look so full and so plump and so youthful. Okay, those are the kissing ones. And here are the two matte revolution colors that I bought. I bought this one right here. This is called Cinematic Red. And I'm wearing this actually in a, a video or two. I will put a clip of it right after the application clip of this, me wearing this in the video with that Tom Ford uh, Amber Bronze palette. This is the one I was wearing that the total sexy look I got. So there is the cinematic red, which is a beautiful, gorgeous Hollywood type of red. And then this is the 90s uh, brown, the so 90s shade. Uh, even though they're matte, you guys, they have this sort of slight sheen to them. It's hard to describe that make your lips look so pouty and plump and big and youthful. She just knows how to make lipsticks, I tell you. Charlotte's a lot of her formulas. I love her eyeshadows. I love her lipsticks. She's, she knows what she's doing. Uh, one thing with her is that she's obsessed with all these like sex language name she has but anyway i think it's cute she's cute um so yeah these are absolutely stunning you saw all the application clips make me look like a total hot vixen so this right here is the guerlain um b glow lip balm you guys i already reviewed this you guys in a separate guerlain video um, all the new Gerla meteorites and uh, the the new Gerla terracotta blushes I reviewed. I did a whole Gerla new makeup video. If you missed it, catch it. I'll put it right up here and down in the description box. The funny thing, you guys, is after I did that video, I bought more of the Gerla meteorites from the Sephora sale because it right towards the end of the Sephora sale, they suddenly popped up and I went and bought more shades. And then I also bought more of these B Glow lip balms and the lip oils. They're still on the way. Can you believe my last two mini Sephora orders I placed after I did the massive insane Sephora VIB sale haul part one and part two? They're still not here. The estimated delivery date is two days from now. So this Charlotte Tilbury um, Big Lip Plump Gassum. There's she goes with the Gassum. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Actually on top of, I forgot to tell you, this one right here, the uh, 90s pink, actually is what's underneath here. But I didn't want to tell you that because this is covering it. Uh, but you saw the application clip of the 90s pink. And this is what I'm wearing on top. So this is actually a plumping lip, creamy lip gloss. And you guys, it does plump. Like my lips look like they were stung by bees after this. Um, I put on some more and it does tingle. It's more than tingle, you guys. It's actually really strong. It's almost feel like on icy hot fire, the lips. Like if, you know, it, 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 it's spicy and kind of not burns, but 
tingles like fire, but it's an icy cold fire. If there was such thing as ice cold fire, you know what I mean? So they really put your lip, lips on fire. It's like lips of flame. Okay. If you don't like that sort of intense plumping sensation with that burning, almost like spicy throbbing or like blood flow. I could feel my blood flow to my lips. Literally, you guys, this one is strong. It's, it's no joke. So if you don't like that kind of sensation, you will not like it, but look at the finish. It's a plumping lip gloss, but also a really good lip gloss in general, you guys. It's beautiful. Gives like that kind of look. And then I have here the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade like Hazelnut something. Um, you know, this is okay. I, I like the Lip Maximizers. Um, but I don't know if I am crazy about this shade, although it's good for like a tan kind of look, like a nudie look. Here's the application clip of it. Okay, then I have this Tom Ford Soleil Diffuse Collection Lip Balm in the sunlit light or sunlit, I think it's called. So you see that it has like like little shimmer particles all over, but it doesn't actually go through the lipstick. It, it's just on the outside of the lip bo lipstick bullet. So this is kind of like a, a dark pink shade. This is the darkest Soleil lip balm from everything Tom Ford's released. All the other colors previously weren't like dark enough, you guys, for me anyway. So this, I was very happy to see. It's kind of like a perfect summertime shade. Is it like groundbreaking? No, it's not. Do you need it? No, not really. You see here the application clip. I mean, it just looks like a regular nice looking balm, but there's nothing, you know, mind blowing about it. Do you need to drop, what is it, like $90, $70 or $60? I can't remember what the price of it is. On this, not really, but I'm keeping it. It actually is old. It's from a, a previous Soleil collection. Was it last year with the Soleil Defu collection with the du Soleil Defu perfume and the other stuff it came out? And then here, the Tarte uh, lip tint here. This one, you guys, again, I will be uh, reviewing in the upcoming uh, No Makeup Makeup Look video. This is a SPF uh, balm. I had beach on mine when I bought this and it's perfect color for summer too. It will be included in that no makeup makeup look video. So it's coming up. Okay, then uh, last but not least, I have this Touchland sanitizer. This smells, this is a rose scented one. Ooh, it smells so good. I love the, the scent of roses, you guys. And this is a really good hand sanitizer. What can I say? It doesn't dry my hands very much at all so yeah good one in terms of the sephora sponges that i bought love them this version with the butterflies on it no not so much not a fan they're harder they're like that more like the cheap stuff you can get amazon type ones whereas this particular sponge with this little half sliced off look this right here is a beautiful perfect soft sponge in fact i prefer this over my my beauty blender actually the beauty blender is too porous i feel like sometimes it soaks up a lot of product whereas this one you guys is not too porous it doesn't soak up as much product as beauty blender and this i can use even it's so soft that you, i i don't always wet this you know like the whole damp beauty blender thing you don't need to dampen this you can actually use it without dampening it which saves you some product it doesn't as absorb as much product I when I put on foundation or blend with concealer with this I don't even dampen it you don't have to with this one it's so soft it's perfect and then the Sephora of course Volor Puff is number one this works so well I love this this is like my favorite Volor Puff it's the perfect size highly recommend you guys okay and then this blush um, brush I got from Sephora this is perfect. This is the one I applied my Gucci blush with and um, I used it for like the Rare Beauty blushes too. It works really perfect. It gives like a nice wash of color um, as you can see in this application clip. Um, yeah, I love Sephora brushes except the problem is that they discontinued many of the brushes that I really, really love. Okay guys, that's it. If I miss some items, it's because they're here and there every, everywhere because I've been using them. If I couldn't find them again, um, if I missed a product that you were waiting for me to give you an update on, let me know down in the uh, comment section. 
and as I told you some of the products weren't included in this update because they're gonna be in their own mini videos mini reviews coming up so stay tuned for those like the Prada collection the Vesman Atelier lipsticks and of course the Love Shine lipsticks and the Candy Glaze ones those will be in a separate video the Natasha Denona eye palette the milk makeup blushes those all will be in upcoming videos that weren't included in this update most of that I, I captured majority of my haul in this video gave you updates on the majority of my massive insane haul the ones that weren't included, they're coming up in their own mini videos, mini reviews, so stay tuned for that. Let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on what my experience is with these products. Do you have these? Have, what, what is your experience? Do you agree with me? Was your experience different from mine? Speak to me people, because if you don't leave me comments letting me know your thoughts, I don't know what you're thinking. So it really helps me to actually plan for my future videos as well. If I forgot, any product or didn't say I would be covering them in an upcoming video please let me know down in the comment section I'll make sure to include it in an upcoming video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right now give this video a thumbs up and of course click that notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos go on over to my other channel my perfume channel Salon Clio and subscribe to that I just uploaded a video telling you how to use perfumes, the best way to apply, how to make them last and get compliments. If you missed that video, catch it on my other channel, Salon Clear. Subscribe to that as well. Show some love. I will link it down in the description box along with all these products. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both my channels share the same social media. So you will see perfume and makeup products and other beauty products all on the same Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and whatnot. I will see you in my next video.